We begin with a developing story. An off-duty Chicago police officer shoots and kills an unarmed man. Good afternoon. I'm Erica Sargent. Rob is off today. Police say that officer knew the man he shot. CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli is live at the scene with the new details on this investigation. Vince? Erica, for authorities, there are many pieces to this puzzle that just don't seem to fit tonight, but one fact that they will confirm is quite disturbing. Apparently, an off-duty Chicago police officer fatally shot an unarmed man. He didn't have any weapons. He wasn't doing anything wrong. He was moving in furniture. Angelica Nieves is flush with anger and anguish. She says her brother, 38-year-old Jose Nieves, was shot to death by an off-duty Chicago police officer. I have a lot, of, lot more questions than I do answers at this time. From Chicago's top cop on down, a palpable sense of frustration that a 57-year-old mass transportation officer fired the fatal shots on an apparently unarmed man. The person who was shot did not have a weapon. That much we know. The officer's weapon is the only weapon involved. He just didn't shoot him one time. He shot him multiple times. The incident occurred around 9 a.m. in the Hermosa neighborhood. His sister says Nieves was moving furniture with his girlfriend. CPD confirms the officer and Nieves weren't strangers. These two individuals knew each other from a uh, confrontation a few weeks ago. CPD says the officer was visiting the neighborhood and somehow got into a verbal argument with the victim that escalated into several shots being fired on the street. Nieves was reportedly rushed to Illinois Masonic Hospital, where he was later pronounced dead and where his family began looking for answers. If you're an officer and your life's at danger and you're getting shot at and you're being threatened, I understand that. But if a person doesn't have a weapon, doesn't give you the right to take out your weapon and shoot at that person. It does not. Family members say that Nieves worked both construction and security, and you might be wondering what happens next. Well, both the Chicago Police Department and the Independent Police Review Authority will be conducting separate but parallel investigations. Reporting live from the Hermosa neighborhood, I'm Vince Girasoli, CBS 2 News. Okay, Vince, thank you.